Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snailus where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our 5 minute review playlist. In previous videos, we talked about amniotic fluid embolism, transient tachypnea of the newborn, meconium aspiration syndrome, granuloma formation, familial adenomatous polyposis, hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer, and others. Today, it's time to talk about the types of amyloidosis. It's a condition of deposition of amyloid protein, which appears pink under the microscope, just like most proteins, basically. But to actually decipher this type of protein, use the Congo red stain or apple green birefringens. Please watch the videos in my 5-minute review playlist in order, especially my nephrotic syndrome videos especially the one on amyloid nephropathy. Recall that amyloid nephropathy is a nephrotic syndrome when I'm losing protein in the urine. Amyloidosis, a condition of amyloid deposition. Where do you get the amyloid from? Derived from precursor proteins, basically. And then these precursors protein will give me a protein that is misfolded, abnormal shape, Recall from your biochemistry that proteins have primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and sometimes quaternary structure. If these are abnormal, you're gonna end up with misfolded fibrillar protein with abnormal shape. This is what we call amyloid. When it gets deposited in different tissues, we call it amyloidosis. So I start with precursor protein. I'll give you examples very soon. And then from the precursor protein, we get the misfolded protein, which is the amyloid protein. It will get deposited into different tissues, such as the interstitium of the kidney. This deposition is not good for you. One example, it can cause pressure atrophy and organ dysfunction. There are many precursor proteins. The two most famous ones are the light chain and the serum amyloid precursor protein. The light chain is the light chain of the aminoglobulin or gamma globulin or just antibody. If I have tons of these light chains, they will get deposited into different parts of the body. And this is amyloidosis. If I have serum amyloid precursor protein, it will give me amyloid associated protein, which will be deposited all over my body. This is amyloidosis. The first story, the light chain deposition, is primary amyloidosis. The second story is secondary to chronic inflammation. That's why we call it secondary amyloidosis. Where do you see primary amyloidosis? In primary diseases, diseases that have no precise cause or no identifiable cause, like multiple myeloma, a cancer of the bone marrow, having tons and tons and tons of plasma cells. What do plasma cells do? They make antibodies. And antibodies contain light chains. But the secondary amyloidosis is secondary to any chronic inflammation that you can imagine. Like rheumatoid arthritis? Yeah. How about lupus? Also, yeah. Scleroderma? Mm-hmm. Crohn's disease? Indeed. Ulcerative colitis? Yeah. Chronic tuberculosis? Yes, indeed. Sarcoidosis? Absolutely. Oh, by the way, do you know why multiple myeloma can cause low anion gap? If you know, amazing. If you do not know, check out my video in my playlist called Ever Wonder Why? And this is the title of the video. So primary amyloidosis is the story of the multiple myeloma. Secondary amyloidosis, on the other hand, is the story of any chronic inflammation. Okay, we have inflammation, so we have inflammatory cells, white blood cells, releasing cytokines. Cytokines will knock on the door of the liver. Hey liver, can you please make the SAA precursor protein? Serum amyloid associated protein. Which will leave the liver and go to your circulation. Before you know it, the macrophages get activated and we will lay down and deposit this amyloid associated protein or AA protein. Remember acute inflammation, we're talking neutrophils polymorphonuclear cells. But in chronic inflammation, we're talking lymphocytes, plasma cells, which are mononuclear cells. What's the fate of acute inflammation? Resolution or progression or abscess formation. But what's the outcome? What's the prognosis of chronic inflammation? It can end up with scar, fibrosis, disability, amyloidosis. The amyloid protein is a misfolded protein. Normally, who should remove any misfolded protein proteasomes should. The amyloid protein is usually linear and non-branching. In beta pleated sheaths, please go back and watch my biochemistry videos on protein structures. 
primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure. To know what the flip this means, you can detect this on X-ray diffraction. How can we identify amyloidosis in a tissue in the lab? Using the good old hematoxylin and eosin stain, just like most proteins, it's eosinophilic. It's pink in color, not blue in color. By the Congo red stain, it will give you a red, and it's going to be a red that's different from the other parts of the slide, showing you the exact parts where amyloid is deposited. If you want to take it to the next level, we use plain polarized light to show you the apple green birefringence. Remember that birefringence literally means by refraction. Some physics, baby. And we can also use scintigraphy, aka nuclear medicine, as we have discussed before in my video on amyloid nephropathy, a nephrotic syndrome for the most part. And remember, to treat amyloidosis in general, you have to treat the underlying cause that caused amyloidosis in the first place. Different types of amyloidosis. If I have multiple myeloma, the protein that is deposited is actually the AL protein, amyloid light chain protein. Who's the precursor? The precursor was immunoglobulin light chain. Got it. If I have any chronic inflammation, such as rheumatoid, lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, which include Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or chronic tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, etc., then the amyloid protein being deposited in my tissues is the amyloid associated protein or simply AA protein. Who was the precursor? Serum amyloid associated protein. Thank you so much, my dear liver. If it is heart disease, i.e. cardiomyopathy or senile cardiac amyloidosis, then the protein deposited is the amyloid transthyretine protein. Who is the precursor? Transthyretine. Thank you, dear family. My papa drives the Rolls Royce. Next, in Alzheimer's disease, the most common cause of dementia in old patients, the protein deposit is the beta amyloid, and what's the precursor? Amyloid precursor protein, or APP. If I have kidney failure and I am on hemodialysis, then I can get hemodialysis-associated amyloidosis. Who's the protein getting deposited? It's the A, beta-2 microglobulin. A stands for amyloid, beta-2 microglobulin is beta-2 microglobulin, which we have talked about before. If I have medullary thyroid cancer, then the protein deposit is amyloid calcitonin protein. What's the precursor? Calcitonin. If you want to learn more about beta-2 microglobulin and why it's related to the kidney, check out my video titled beta-2 microglobulin in my playlist called Labs. Now quiz time. Here are six patients presenting to you. With each one, name the disease, name the name of the deposited amyloid protein, and the precursor that came before that protein. Pause and review. Let me know the correct answers in the comment section. You need to practice active recall. If you want to strengthen your memory, use your memory. Use it or lose it, baby. It's called disuse atrophy. It's even in the pathology textbook for heaven's sake. Speaking of pathology, do you want to learn more about endometriosis, adenomyosis, endometritis? Chorioamnionitis, Sheehan syndrome versus pituitary apoplexy, and the fascinating phenomena of the low implanted ureter and twin twin transfusion syndrome, then download my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. If you want to learn about acute respiratory distress syndrome, tons of toxidromes, and if you want to review your arrhythmias like a champ, download my emergency medicine high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.